When the COVID-19 pandemic began, some may not have predicted that the U.S. would be the country hardest hit so by the virus. So far, Africa has not suffered the death and disruption COVID-19. We are being told we must wash our hands. And only a tiny fraction of the healthcare resources available. So how is it that the entire continent of Africa... So far, Africa has escaped the scale of infection seen in other parts of the world. What are some African countries doing right? To Meet the man who risked it all for Africa. Dr. John Nkengosong, ambassador at large and coordinator of PEPFAR. You've been described as the person most knowledgeable at the time. On January 27th, I said this threat was going to be global and it was going to come to Africa. There were 200 cases in the whole world, 200 cases. Wow. You were not a head of state, but the heads of state, I watched them line up behind what you were saying. We must cooperate, we must collaborate, we must coordinate, and we must communicate. The four C's. Join me in what is arguably the first intimate profile of this five-star general in the war against pandemics. From Futterbaum to U.S. presidential appointee, a conversation with Dr. John Nkengasong Premiering Sunday, June 12 at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Also on Monday, June 13th at 7 p.m. Only on Dominion TV.